one day. I was driving with Ramdas to the beach every Monday. He enjoyed her sea bath so much. So we drove, I think Ramdas, Dalsima, and me, the three of us, and meeting many other Sangha members. It was like a gathering from the Sangha in Maui. And at that time, I kind of still was, at least in theory, a homeopath. I've been very passionate about homeopathy at some point, studying it very deeply. And it helped me a lot also when I was really struggling. And this saying we were talking yesterday was Easter about Christ. And somehow, I, I never really read the Bible, but somehow this God made you in the image of likeness of God or something like that. You are made in the image and likeness of God came to me and it dawned me somehow homeopathy different than allopathy or normal medicine is based on a principle uh, uh, from nature that likes cures likes so instead of giving the opposite impulse to the system what allopathy does nothing wrong with that there are many ways. But homeopathy works with this likes, cures, likes. And I had this insight when we were driving to the beach or something in Rwanda's. Now I understand why I haven't been so passionate maybe and also haven't been taking any constitutional homeopathic remedy already by then for a year or so. If we are made in the image and likeness of God, then the best homeopathic remedy is God. <laughs> exactly what you're saying, Anya. God meaning the light of consciousness, this silence. Once we discover this and remember and truly not only understand but also feel, so to speak, this light, it reveals to us more and more, not only its wisdom, its understanding and its love, but also its healing power. Its healing power in perfect intelligence. Because this intelligence in the silence is the same intelligence that we want to say so created this body. It has the perfect blueprint for this avatar, this silence, how it was meant to be. And that doesn't mean that support from medicine or even 
Psychopharmaka or painkillers. I'm, I'm not um, judging any of those or rejecting any of those. Everything has its place in its time, possibly. But in my very own suffering, struggling journey, also physically, emotionally, mentally, deeply, for some years. So there was the homeopathy, and then there was craniosacral therapy, and I wasn't so much into chemicals somehow intuitively. It wasn't it wasn't my thing. So I tried other I tried other things. And we see that a lot also these days with a lot of um, supplements and herbs and, and all these have a beautiful function. But somehow as more we are absorbed by the silence, by this light of consciousness that we are, shining the light on our, our body-mind, on our avatar, very often the trust in this light grows and grows and grows and and less and less intervention or medicine from so-called outside is needed or as you say anya maybe also less I don't know if that is true for you. Less things to alleviate pain if it's there. Can maybe reduce the dose of painkillers that we used to take until maybe we don't need them anymore at all. This intelligence usually knows and we can play with that a bit. And it will may inform us, okay, maybe this herb or this supplement or this therapy can really be of help for my avatar to, to regain physical health also. I've been struggling a lot still at that time. I think it was around 2013 when this insight came to me when I was with Ram Das. And being a homeopath and a craniosacral therapist and a natural path, I, I thought, oh, I'm, I'm going to write a book about that. It's not true what they say in the wisdom traditions that when you find yourself you're going to be healthy also it's not true ramdas these are two things you can be knowingly knowing who you are which thank god um, i had discovered by then but the body who oh, was really struggling still so I concluded, like a hundred million further on conclusions in the years to follow that were all wrong. It's a strong tendency of the mind to receive this light of consciousness and then mix in its old assumptions and, and, and making the truth out of it. So like that, I was totally convinced that somehow, nah, this this somehow doesn't add up. I'm I'm I I am I have this peace in me, so to speak. But my body didn't get it. It didn't work. Thank God I didn't write that book.
Thank God I didn't write any books because from my experience, that would be all by now debunked or at least not having this understanding that is here now. So what we speak about in these meetings, this embodiment of the light of awareness, the light of consciousness, it's not only embodying wisdom, it's very, very, very healing. Mm 